Let's do some more practice using the binomial PDF and the binomial CDF calculator functions to solve binomial experiment problems. Let's look back at the question that we were asked about uh, baseball fans. Here we're told that 58% of men consider themselves professional baseball fans and we randomly select 10 men and ask if he considers himself a professional baseball fan. So we want to find these different probabilities and we want to look, take a closer look at how to set these up and use the calculator. So let's suppose we're asked to find the probability that exactly three men say that they are professional baseball fans. Here I have listed out all the possible outcomes in this experiment. We could have exactly zero men say that they are, exactly one man say that he is, exactly two men say that they are, exactly three men say that they are, and so on. So if I want exactly three, I'm going to circle the three so I know that I'm doing exactly three. And the function on the calculator that I'm going to use is the binomial PDF function. We use that function when we want exactly our successes. So I'm going to use binomial PDF. The number of trials is 10. The probability of success is 0.58. And I want exactly three successes. So let's do that on the calculator together. Let me pull up my calculator. And let's see if I can get this. All right. So we hit second distribution, go down to the binomial PDF function and hit enter. The number of trials is 10, probability of success is 0.58, and I want exactly three successes. I'm going to hit enter, and I can see that when I round to three decimal places, that's going to be 0.58. 0, 0.054. Okay, now let's go on. Let's suppose we were asked to find the probability of at least four men saying that they are professional baseball fans. So the wording at least four means from four all the way up to ten. Now we're going to have to use the complement because the calculator function, which is the CDF function, can only handle less than or equal to statements. So the complement of four or more is actually less than or equal to three. So this side is the probability that x is less than or equal to three, whereas this side is the probability that x is greater than or equal to four. So I'm going to do the probability that x is greater than or equal to 4 is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. In the calculator, I can do 1 minus binomial CDF, and then the number of trials is 10. Probability of success is 0.58, and I'm going to use 3 here for less than or equal to 3. Let's do that in the calculator together. All right, let me pull the calculator up again. All right. <clears throat> so here we're going to do 1 minus second distribution, go down to the binomial CDF, hit enter, 10 for the number of trials, 0.58 for the probability of success, and 3 for less than or equal to 3, and hit enter. And if I round to three decimal places, that's going to be 0 0.2929. Okay. All right, now let's go on. Suppose we were asked to find the probability that less than six men say that they're 
professional baseball fans. So let's map it out here. I've got the list of possible outcomes. Less than six, that would be these. Less than or equal to five. So this is the probability that x is less than or equal to five. So the CDF function, the binomial CDF function can do this. Less than or equal to five. So I do binomial CDF, number of trials is 10, probability of success is 0.58, and I'm going up to 5. All right, so let's pull the calculator up again, and this is a less than statement. Let's see if I can get it all in here. All right, second distribution. Go down to binomial CDF, there it is, and the number of trials is 10, probability of success is 0.58, and then I want less than or equal to 5, so I put 5 there, hit enter, and if I round to three decimal places I get 0.418. Okay, now the last example here is the statement at most 5. So at most means less than or equal to 5, at most 5. So that would be this statement, the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. So we can do the binomial CDF function for this statement, binomial CDF. And this is going to be 10, comma, 0.58, comma, 5. And it's the same statement. So that means it's the same probability. Okay. So drawing out this diagram of listing all the possible outcomes and mapping out the different outcomes that are involved can really help. I hope this does help. Good luck, everyone.